Greetings, my name is Monica, and today I will be doing a review on Alaba, Alaba hair, however you would like to pronounce it. It comes in a pack. It has three bundles and a 4x4 closure. The pack that I chose has a 10-inch closure, 10-inch bundle, 12-inch bundle, and a 14-inch bundle. I am wearing a unit that I made. It has the 10-inch closure. 12 inch bundle and a 14 inch bundle. The bundles were very full, so I had no need to use the 10. Now, I purchased this hair about three weeks ago and I had to wrestle with it. Meaning it was deep wave hair, 100% Brazilian human hair. When I washed it, all of the curls and waves came out of it. No matter what I did, I couldn't get them to come back in. Now, this hair comes with directions on how to dye it, perm it, and straighten it. So after wrestling with it, using foam wrap, using um, mousse, curling mousse, also using leave-in conditioner, I decided to flat iron the hair. I flat ironed the unit, and it sh immediately showed split ends, straggly hairs. So I wasn't impressed by that. I then decided to go ahead and flexi rod the unit. And this is the end result of the flexi rods. Um, showed up quite nicely after I rotted it. It's soft. The hair itself is under $50 for the package. So if you're looking for something and you're on a budget, but you have time to wrestle with it and work with it, I would recommend it. If you don't have time to wrestle with it or if you're looking to wear a wet, wavy look, I would not recommend this hair because the waves, as I stated, did not come back in it. The waves or curls were not friendly at all. However, on the other side, as I stated, it's very nice hair if you have time to work with it. I initially purchased this hair to make a wig which I did, and I intended to sell it. However, I would not sell this as a unit to anyone because of the manageability of the hair. And the hair does shed. Now, to give you a little information on myself, I am a licensed professional barber with extensive training in cosmetology. I feel like if you can do a sew-in, you can make a wig. I've been doing sew-in since I was 14 years old. So I decided to go into wig making not too long ago. I had a bad experience with a purchase from a company that's advertising on the internet. And I do have a video about that company. Um, the company was named purelace.com. And I hear that they are going ahead and changing their name to other names, such as Flawless Wigs, um, et cetera, and they're selling show wigs. They have been labeled a scam, and it puts such a bad taste in my mouth, it sent me into wig making. So, anyway, would I recommend this hair? If you have time to work with it. If you don't have time to work with it, or you're looking for a wet, wavy look, this is not the hair for you. If you're looking for beauty on a budget, you have time to condition, wash, curl. When I say curl, I do mean roll using rods, flexi rods, what have you. Then this may work for you. Other than that, I would not recommend it. And I wouldn't recommend that you use it for um, a wig sale. Once again, I am Monica, a licensed professional barber from the state of Alabama. I hope you have enjoyed this review. I hope it was informative to you. Please leave your comments below. I will have other videos coming soon. I am in the process of making another wig with a company um, that I ordered the hair from. So I will let you know about that in the near future. In the meantime, you have a blessed evening, morning, noon, night, whatever time it may be. And remember, somebody loves you, baby.